Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I will be doing an oil change on this 2007 Kawasaki Vulcan uh, 900cc motorcycle. I have not done an oil change on one of these before, but I have done plenty of other oil changes. The first thing that we will need to do is remove this cover because the oil filter is right here. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. This is a motorcycle and most motorcycle oil changes are very simple, if not all of them. And I'm using a 10 millimeter socket to take these off. So they were on there pretty tight, but I was able to do it with one hand. So there's the bottom one. I apologize, the camera is trying to focus on something else. Setting that to the side, continuing with a 10 millimeter. And we are undoing both of these. So I don't know why, it's trying to focus on this. Let me try to maybe position it a little bit better, but hopefully you guys will get the idea. Like now it's trying to position here. Focus on this, this. <laughs> oh boy, okay, but you guys got the idea, 10 millimeter. Setting this to the side, it is very low to the ground and it's pretty sturdy. So just be gentle with it, but set it to the side. These are also 10 millimeter. I have loosened them. So we are just going to remove this whole bracket assembly. And that will expose the filter. So we could take the old one out and put the new one in. Now from the front of the motorcycle, this is the passenger side. We are looking under and this is our drain plug right here. That drain plug is a 17 millimeter socket. Oh boy, really having focus issues. But 17 millimeter, ignore that this is dirty. I'm gonna use it for a lot of oil changes. I've loosened it and now by hand, I am going to take it out and then adjust so it doesn't overfill or overspill. There it is. I did not start the bike, uh, so it's been sitting actually for a few days now. So the oil is not warmed up. It is not running as quickly as I would like it, but this way, it'll be nice and easy. And the oil is almost done draining. So we are going to unpack the new oil. And I purchased Kawasaki Oil 10W40. I'm gonna set that to the side. And then I have an oil filter. So this is a part number, there you go, I guess right there. Let's see if there's a better part number for it. But this was purchased from uh, mountainatv.com, something like that. That's nearly done. Uh, what I will do is lean the bike straight and see if there's any oil that's kind of on the side just to drain as much as I can. Thing that is nearly done draining. So I'm going to put the drain plug back in and uh, we will work on the filter. But with the filter out, uh, instructions say pour 3.4 quarts back in. I will do about three quarts and see the level and then add if necessary because it's always better to add a little bit less than overfill it. Getting to the filter is easy but unscrewing it by hand is pretty darn difficult. Uh, so what I would suggest, I mean you could try it by hand if you're lucky. Um, you might be able to do it but since I do a whole bunch of oil changes, I invested in an oil removal socket set. So now the job will be to find the size and I guess the right shape that fits and I should be able to take off the filter with ease. There we go, just like that. Make sure you wipe everything down once you're done. I don't know about you guys, but I always put 
some oil around the gasket, around the thread, and I pour a little bit inside. I don't know if you'll see that, just a little bit. And then I put the oil filter in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I only hand tighten filters, oil filters, just because, you know, over time they kind of get baked on. And if you over tighten them, it is an absolute pain to get that filter off. But now this is the easy part. Uh, put everything back together, 10 millimeter socket, the bracket ends go on this side, and then this just slides in, two bolts in there, and then we have our cover right here, and then we will be pouring the oil in. To pour the oil in, you will be on the left side, passenger side, I feel like I already said passenger side. Driver side, if you're thinking car language, it will be on the driver side, so on the left side of the motorcycle. And I don't have the special, I guess, uh, screwdriver to remove it. So use a bigger screwdriver and then at an angle. Open this up and now fill your oil. With roughly three quarts in there, we can go ahead and start the bike. So oil change was done. Let's see, 17,731 miles. We're going to kick it into neutral. There we go. Now yeah, let's start her. Let's check for any visual leaks. This is expected. This is from the oil filter that I did not wipe down very well. That's it guys, super easy, super simple. You need two sets of sockets. Uh, took me about 15, 20 minutes to do the complete oil change. Very simple, and I think for the oil and filter, I will tell you guys how much I paid because I should have the invoice in here. I paid 35 bucks with shipping. So very inexpensive, it doesn't take a lot of time. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video.